All right, so welcome back to Empires of the Void 2. So for this video, we're going to talk about card action and diplomacy. So if I choose for the action track here, if I choose uh, this one here, card action or diplomacy, I can do one of these two things as my action because it's one or the other, one or the other. So if I choose to do an action, this is a and this is the card I could do because this is the action card, the only action card I have. I could do this one, okay? And so if I chose the action card and this was the only one I had and this is the one I chose, I would have to pay a cost. The cost is I'd have to pay a command. So I would have to have command available. If I had none, I wouldn't be able to complete this action. I'd also have to pay two credits as well. I'd have to pay two credits and I'd have to pay a cost of one command to complete this action. But then by doing so, I would get to place two influence on Tan Fu because I gave supplies to a band of cutthroat Tanfoon warriors. <laughs> yeah, they're warriors. I like that. But I wouldn't be able to do these two cards here, mission and delivery, because they aren't action. So I should explain probably when you can activate these cards. So if you have a delivery card, uh, delivery is something you can do when you're at the location. So if I'm going to deliver something, like say I transport a leader uh, Kra Krakim, so I can, tr I, so if I choose to do, do delivery for Setna, I first have to be on Setna to do the delivery, okay, and then I trans, and I, meaning I'd have to at least be in orbit, I transport leader Krakim to study Silast's pandemic, which means I would have to go to Sil Sil uh, uh, Silast, which is up there, and it's got this, the, uh, uh, the Sacreen Regency token there, so I probably wouldn't be able to complete this delivery. So this is not something I would probably utilize. I'd probably use this for a power of attacking or a power for technology, for instance. But if I was to do this, I would pick him up on Setna, and then I would end movement. And picking up means I would pick up a little token that's a cargo token. So maybe I should grab um, the... I'll show you the cargo tokens, at least show you. So this little token here where my thumb is, um, that's a cargo token. So you would just take this cargo token and you would put it on your world ship. Okay, just like you would if you were, um, if you had, a, you know, some citizens and, and stuff on your world ship and stuff like that. So that's what you would do. And then you would take that uh, cargo token and you would take it um, to Silast, and then you would just simply go in orbit of Silast, and you would end your move it, movement to there, or actually you would move, end your move it, movement on Setna. So you'd, so you'd end movement on Setna, pick up the cargo token, and then the destination would be Silast. So if you were already on the planet Setna and did a delivery, you would just simply pick up the cargo token. But if I wanted to do the delivery, I would first have to end my movement on Setna, to activate this delivery card, then I get to pick up the cargo token, and then when I made it to Silast, Planet Silast, the destination, and I just stopped there on Silast, I would drop off the cargo token, so I would just lose it, and I would get to gain a uh, plus two influence on Setna, and I get three victory points. So that's what a delivery does, and there's lots of different deliveries that you can do, all sorts. But that's that's when you would do a delivery. You would do do it sort of like while well, you're moving around. That's when you would trigger it anyways. Missions are something that are triggered when you do certain things. So in order to trigger this mission here, which is which is called uh, I Share New Research with the the uh, the Akrens or Ikrons, I trigger the trigger is I gain a new technology using life forms. So if I had put a life forms on one of these two two technologies and one of these two technologies here then that would trigger this mission if I had it. And then because I triggered it, I automatically get to place one influence on MROC and gain uh, one victory point, which is kind of interesting because I don't even have to necessarily be on MROC, which is right there. I don't even have to be there to trigger this mission, at least for this one in general. So that's kind of cool. So that's, that's what missions do. 
That's what delivery cards do. And obviously action cards you can do as the action, action card or diplomacy. So let's take a look at the uh, uh, Parasites of Screech. They have some cards here. So they have a mission, which we won't talk about. But they have a couple of um, actions here. And they're both for Emrock. So they could choose one of these actions to do. And there are a, ver a variety of costs for each of these actions. Even though this one's got just command. This one costs three command. This one costs one command over here. Um, there are all sorts of things that could be part of the cost. It could be credits. It could be command. It could be goods. Um, uh, you have some, some of the costs in, included would be you have to actually be on the planet in order to complete the action. So there's a variety of different things that could be part of the cost uh, to do the various actions that you can take. But if you choose to do, uh, if you don't have a ca card action you want to use or can't use, um, you can do something else. You can actually do diplomacy. So what is diplomacy? Well, diplomacy works with influence. Okay, so if I'm the Empire, if I'm the uh, Parasites of Screech, here's my... Uh, Influence cubes, il influence cylinders, and then obviously the Seventh Academy of Eek. Here's my influence uh, cylinders. Okay, um, so if I'm going to do diplomacy, I have to use one of my command, one of these, one of these awesome cards here. Okay, and I can use more than one, and then I have to roll a dice. So if I just use this one, I have to roll a dice. If it's if it's a five or six nothing happens and that's the end of my turn but if I roll a four or lower then I get to put or so if I want to increase the odds you know I can add more cards to the equation you know for instance and make it so I can roll pretty much any die and complete the action which is diplomacy obviously but then I can put one of these influence cubes of my color on one of the planets of my choice which is cool you don't have to be on Tanfu. I don't even have to be there, and I could put one already on there. And if no one, nobody else had influence there yet, well, you know what that means. I get their uh, ally token, which gives me an awesome ability, depending on which ally it is, and I get access to all of their units. So we basically talked about the basics of research and build. So you know what? Let's go ahead and um, talk about recruit because I don't think recruit should take that long to talk about and that's kind of borderline what we're talking about anyways so if you are the player that uh, chooses to take recruit here you also gain an empire card but we'll talk about that momentarily so if I choose recruit as the active player I get to now recruit units uh, into my fold into basically they get to go to a planet I control or they can um, even land uh, and go into one of my starships or my world ships so basically I have access to the starfarers here for the cost of two credits I can recruit this starfarer and add him to my to my army okay so it only costs two credits and it doesn't matter if you're the uh, uh, if you're the parasites of screech it's also only going to cost two credits if you're the uh, Parasites of Screech. So that you don't have to worry about that. But obviously I couldn't recruit the uh, Parasites of Screech because I'm not <laughs> the Parasites of Screech. I'm the Seventh Academy of Eeg, right? But then if I had ally tokens, so if I had ally tokens, I would have access to these guys maybe or these guys maybe. And let's say I had the ally token for the lizard people here, the Tanfoons, these guys. If I, if I was allies with them, I could actually recruit them instead of my Starfarer for a cost of six credits. For the uh, Sentinel researchers here, it would cost three. Um, for the Mazron agent, it would cost three. For the Azros mercenaries, which are these uh, rock-type, geode-type humanoids, it would cost seven. Uh, for uh, the Varicians here, it would cost four, for instance. So those are the various uh, possibilities I could recruit if I was allies with these different alien races, okay? So that's something you could also do when recruiting. You can pay money to recruit these guys as well as your own Starfarers. 
and you can recruit as many as you want as long as you can afford to recruit them. So that's what you'll be doing if you decide to recruit and take that action called recruit. You get to basically increase your empire size depending on, of course, uh, which allies you have, where your influence is located, obviously. Um, so that's uh, one of the things that will possibly happen. Now, if you're the player that chose to take the action recruit, that means if any player who decides to follow suit and also do recruit, they will not get to do this. They will, if you're the player that chose recruit, you will draw the top two empire cards, you will look at them, and then choose one to keep, discarding the other one. That's what's going to happen. So you're going to definitely want to get more of these to increase the possibility of scoring tons of victory points when it's time to score. The more you have, the more possibilities that you will be able to score tons of points. Okay? So that's uh, something to note. Uh, but it's only for the player who chooses the recruit action that gets to do this. So you're definitely going to want to choose this action from time to time, even if you can't recruit anybody, because you're definitely going to want to get some Empire cards, and it's the only way to get them. So the players who follow suit, they don't get these. They get to take the action and recruit, uh, you know, lizard folk if they have them, etc., etc. But they don't get to, they don't get these. So that's basically what recruit does. And then the fifth action. So there's one more action to talk about, and we'll actually talk about that in the next video.